अष्टांग हृदय कमिंग डायरेक्टली टू द मेन सब्जेक्ट वाय दोष गुण रसायन महा सो अवर कंसिडरेशन इज आहार संभव वस्तु रोगाश्च आहार संभव ऑल डिजीजेस एंड ऑल अवर हेल्दी बॉडी आर ड्यू टू द क्वालिटी ऑफ अवर आहार मेनली द मेन पॉजिटिव फैक्टर इज फूड देर आर another food uh, positive factors like vihar and manasi we will see them after it but this line states how will we reaching to dosha rasa guna mah charaka says that vastu vastu means the healthy body is due to ahar and same rogascha ahar sam diseases also due to of course wrong ahar so how we know ahar how we understand ahar we know or understand or perceive ahar by our tongue means this is sweet this is sour this is spicy this is salty so we speak our ahara in terms of ras so they also narrated ahara in terms of ras always they have not given the names of food articles generally what they have said imadurani tiktani kashayani katuni so they are speaking ahara the main positive factor of all the diseases in terms of ras and that goes like that he says in chara sutra 26 उटिटी Rogue is to be understood in terms of vata, pitta, kapha, vata, pitta, pitta, kapha, kapha, pitta. That's only part. Means we will be understanding rogue in terms of dosha. Again, they have classified it into 63 types. So there are 63 types of ras and 63 types of dosha. And the verse goes: If you know the ras and dosha correctly, na samuhe dikarana. There will not be any confusion about the understanding of vikara. Means this is this in terms of hetu linga and its treatment. That is kind. So triskandha or ahar or rog are to be understood in terms of rasa and dosha. So the basic things are rasa and dosha. Rasa outside body, dosha inside body to understand the given things. Okay, next. He says tasman na ek rasam drabya. There is no matter. There is no food article. There is nothing which is solitary rasa. It is always a combined. There will be some dominant rasa. You will say this is madhur. It doesn't mean it contains only madhur. There are all five, but they are in recessive, non-passive. Madhur is dominant. We have to do this. So he says the smaran is a rasa. Why? Because everything is a combination of five mahabhutas. So each and everything is in terms of mahabhuta only, and those mahabhutas can be understood by us grossly by rasa. even you touch a very uh, cool green chili if you touch it will you know it is hot no. even though put it in fridge and take it out it will be by touch it is cool but when you consume that green chili oh it is very hot so by rasa only generally we can take the perception of its effect on our body in terms of normal or abnormal so rasa is most important and rasa is derived by the combination of mahabhuta so the ultimate generator or design of that rasa is due to combination of mahabhuta so beyond rasa and dosha there is the basic thing called as mahabhuta so shuru says so shuru says bhutyo bhyoi param yasma nasti chinta chikitsa we the doctors are concerned with the material things only beyond mahabhuta there is atma man indriya prakruti What are you going to do about that? Nothing. You can't correct prakriti. You can't correct atma. You can't correct sattva rajatama. You cannot correct indriya. So don't discuss about them. Charaka has discussed a lot in Charak Sharir A, Charak One Three. In many adhyaya Charak has recorded about the adhyatmic things, spiritual things, metaphysical things. So Shri has limited it to one adhyaya. Only eighteen lines he has written about atma, prakriti, etc. And he realizes this is not my subject. So he concludes, "Bhute bhayi paramya smaan na fitin dal." Vagbad has not written a single line about metaphysical things. There is no mention of atma and prakriti and buddhi and ahamkar. Nothing he has written because we know that our whole disease process 
is about Mahabhuta changing. We can have some alterations regarding that Mahabhuta configuration to bring about the health and to eliminate the disease condition. We can manipulate the Mahabhutic things. We cannot go beyond them. So why to discuss about Atma and Mala? That is the practical approach by Sushrut and it is very much empathetically followed by Vata. So we should consider Rasa, Dosha, Mahabhuta. But all these three things are interrelated with each other by 20 Gunas. When I say Vata, but Vata having Chala Guna will run. But Vata having Sheeta Guna will stop. It will not move at all. So same Dosha will give exactly opposite effects according to the guna. So guna consideration is most important for the fine tuning between these gross, mahabhuta, rasa and dosha things. So rasa is out of body, dosha is inside body. Both these rasa and dosha are due to mahabhuti configurations and these three things are to be understood for fine tuning in terms of 20 gunas. And that is the understanding which will be exhibited in each and every line you will study next. Next, what is written? Guna. Guna. Guna are Guruvadi Guna. That is 20 Guna are there. Then there are 3 Vipak. Then there are 2 or 8 Viriya. And there are 6 Rasa. But all these things are Guna again. Rasa is a Guna. You know those Vaisheshik Gunas. Gandha, Rasa. So Rasa is a Guna. So, even though I say rasa, it is basically a guna to be perceived by my tongue. Even though I say vipak, there is madhur vipak. Madhur vipak means it is as good as madhur rasa. And it is again a guna. When I say it is virya. But ushna virya, shita virya, guru snigda virya, ruksha virya. All these are again gunas. The guna upgraded to certain level is called as virya. There are 20 guna, out of those 20, 8 are upgraded to cabinet ministry. So they are called as Virya. And out of those 8, 2 are experts. So they are called as main Virya, Ushna and Shita. But in general consideration, all 8 Virya or 2 Virya are gunas again. So Rasa for Ahara, Dosha for Roga, Rasa for out of body, Dosha for inside the body, their configurations are due to Mahabhuta and their interlinking is to be understood by Guna. Then only it is possible. Therefore, we will speak, we will try to understand, we will try to analyze given things in these four terms. Okay, next. Nidan, Lakshan and Chikisa. There is three skandha, you know. Hmm? There are three skandha, Nidan, Lakshan and Chikisa. All these are written in terms of Guna and Dosha only. There are Lakshanas given Vata, Jwara, Lakshana. Pitta, Pandu, Lakshana, Kapha, Joshotha, Lakshana. So all the symptoms are narrated in terms of Dosha. And all the Nidana is written in terms of Guna, Pushnena, Pitta, Prabhu. They have not written all the food articles. They have just mentioned Pushna, Vidahi, Tishna. So they are speaking in terms of Guna or Dosha. Or Guna and Dosha. Therefore these four things are important. There are Karma also. They will say Langana, Pachana, Deepana, Bruhana, Lekhana. We are not talking about all these things. In, in Chikisa, what do we do? We go for Karma. Chikisa is a function. Chikisa is a procedure. Means it is a Karma, an action to be done, to be performed. But every action needs energy behind that. And that energy is Guna. How do you define Guru Guna? Guru Guna is Bruhana Karmani Shakti Guru Guna. The guna which is responsible for guruhana karma is guru. Langhana karmani shakti lagu guna. Bedana karmani shakti tishna guna. Let us put away the variables. Bruhana hmm? guru put away. Langhana lagu put away. Bedana tishna put away. What will remain? Amuk amuk karmani shakti amuk amuk guna. For certain karma there is a need of certain guna. Keep away certain or amuk shakta. Now what is remaining? Karmani Shakti Guna. If Shatavari is Guru, then only it will be able to give the effect of Bruhana. If Bhalladhaka is Tikshna, then it will be able to give the effect of Bhedana. So to carry out the desired karma in that patient, we need that type of Guna in that Dravya. So we are again coming to Guna only. 
Guna is the potential energy packed in that dravya which you are adopting for your treatment. And that dravya when administered as a chikisa in that person, it executes that kinetic energy as the effect or karma. It is new, not new thing that potential energy and potential kinetic energy are the physical sense. No, it is the basic understanding of every person. We are saying it as guna karma, you are saying as potential and kinetic, nothing else. I am saying papa, you are saying father. <laughs> Expression changes, but the main thing remains the same. Next. Still, why Dosha Guna Rasa Mahabhuta? Why should I go to the basics? I have refined books now available today for every disease. Why should I go to the back basics? Not necessarily practically, you should tell me this is the disease, this is the, this is the drug. Why should I go for Magas Mari? Why should I go for brainstorming? Not necessarily. Give, give me some handbook, a manual ready to use. That is the expectancy of every person. Hmm? Yeah. When there was a um, 12, 12 key pad, it was very difficult to type because you have to put that four times. If you have to go for S, then you have to put that seven, one, two, three for the S will come. Now what is happening with smart key, there is one zero, directly S. So this, that easiness is always accepted. So why should I go to Dosha, Rasa, Guna, Mahabhut? What is the need of that? You just give me some, in writing, this is a symptom, this is a drug, fine. Isn't it? But it is not the case. What happens? This is the problem. Need of the day is there are so many new hetus, new positive factors which are not at all mentioned in our sciences. Many food articles, many type of new occupations are there, many type of stress oriented things are there, pollution is there. In those days when Charak, Sushrut, Vakbat were writing, there were no industrial thing. There is no mass production. There is no urbanization. They were living in small towns. So no pollution, no traffic, no speed, no stress, no deadlines. Nothing was there. And these are the dominant hetus than Ahara now. So n number of hetus are there which are not mentioned and they are dominant to cause the newer diseases today. So I have to think about those new hetus. There are new lakshanas which are not narrated in Charak and Sushrut and Akbar. There are n number of new diseases. Every day there will be a new flu, new disease, new syndrome which is not narrated there. And I, I am the person to treat those things, to understand those things to put away the patient from those positive factors. So I am the person who will design the Aushad, the treatment, which if there is no Nidan is written, no Lakshan is written, there is no possibility of the medicine written for those unsaid things, new things. What to do? So to design a new Aushad Skanda for newly upcoming positive factors and newly appearing diseases, newly appearing presenting complaints, I have to design a new Aushad I have great respect about Bhagwan Ram. Isn't it? I have great respect about him. And he used to kill the demons with arrow and bow. Isn't it? I have great respect about all my ancestors, Chatrapati, Shivaji, etc. Shivaji was to kill the enemies with the sword. So what will you do today? We will go to the Pakistan border with the sword. <laughs> will it work? No. The enemy's potential is changed, enemy's attacking style is changed. So you have to. Today you have to adopt the bullet. You can't say that Rama has not used bullet. And Shivaji never used bullet. So how can I handle a gun? No. So if Hetu changes, Lakshana obviously will change. So the Aushad Skanda should change. How can you tackle with the same Sitopaladi and Avipatti Kar and Prabhupanjabr in the newer diseases? It is not impossible, but it is practically true. In the whole scenario is changed and you are, st you are still in that stone age. It is the need that I should design a correct Aushadi Skanda for the newly designed causative factors and newly appearing something. So what should I do? I should throw away all the Shatavari and Ashwagandha and Sarva and go for new arts? No, it is not the case. There is the mathematics. Zero to nine numbers are same. But every day the example is new. With those 0 to 9 numbers we are solving all the new calculations. So the calculations are new. Basic thing Dosha Rasa Guna Mahabud will be same. Sariva Musta Shatari will be same. But their combination, their administration, their doses, their durations should be changed according to the intensity of that causative factor 
and the frequency of the presenting complaint and to engineer such things we are not doctors doctor is the person who knows today we should turn ourselves from doctors to engineers we have to program a new aushadi skanda as per the need of the day and it can be done through dosharasa guna mahabhut only because ready written reference is not at all available in the same way as we pass through our school education we solve many math problems in our school days and when we come in the market we solve different calculations which were not in our mathematics book but we don't have any problem we know the basic zero to nine numbers we know the basic plus minus multiply and we apply those things and we calculate the things and we are going through same way as we are learning from jwara rakta pitta gulma vata vyadhi prameha that understanding the basic understanding how these people have designed the things it is in terms of dosha rasa guna mahabhut and same application is to be applied to the newer things and then you will be successful and that's why that dosha rasa guna mahabhut needed to tackle the new anukta things no so why dosha why not other things because they speak in that language dosha eva hi sarvesham rogana sarvesham rogana whatever i have narrated or not narrated all the positive possible diseases will be caused by dosha only so i should learn the dosha concept i should learn their effects from rasa concept i should learn their shade in terms of guna concept and i should be able to know that all these things are derived from the different configurations of maha therefore those four terms are necessary whatever i am telling you in english it is written by sushrut in sanskrit in way back thousands of years ago because what is written nasti rogo vina doshaihi asma since there is not a single disease last line nasti rogo vina doshaihi without dosh there is not a single disease yasma since tasmat vichakshana therefore the wise person what should he do he should anuktam api anuktam not narrated not mentioned not described vyadhim doshanam lingaihi upachare by the symptoms of dosha you should be able to treat the disease so you need to know what is the lakshan caused by which dosha and which guna is dominant to execute this lakshan as i just gave the example if vata dosha is common but if it is having chala guna there will be tremor kamp and having sheet guna there will be stamp he will be standing lock so same dosha can cause exactly opposite lakshana so you need to go for that refinement of 20 guna so he is saying anuktam api doshana lingai what are the anukta vyadhis those are some cases there are two options that we can discuss these these cases right now with the running uh, slide or we will just go through what is the anukta thing and we will come back after our total discussion according to dosha sagura mahapur and we will re understand these presentations just go through this these are anukta things which have no reference in ayurveda this is the case i have treated 15 years ago on 28 october 2000 the time see it is very odd time 1:30 am not pm it was late night 1:30 patient age was 18 days old he was a neonate it was a very unfortunate premature delivery at the 27th week of pregnancy it needs 40 weeks for a full term baby and is almost 1/3 27 it was just 6 and 1/2 month completed the baby was delivered in very delicate condition the weight was just 980 grams for survival you need 2500 gram weight and this baby was having only 980 grams weight almost impossible to survive abdominal distension was 28 cm even if you buy a chicken chicken is almost 1 and 250 grams 1 1 kg and 250 grams he was less than that. this much only only this much bulk was there in a tray small tray and in this much bulk he was having 28 cm distension his abdomen was fully blown 28 cm intestinal bleeding inside there was bleeding oxygen saturation was not maintained he was not able to breathe in so they were forcefully pushing the oxygen in his lungs at 27 week there is no lung which can uh, inflate to breathe in the air so they were pushing 12 liters per hour it is the highest possible thing in medical field 
well it is called as hyperbaric oxygen but even though you are pushing he is not able to inhale because there is no that much power inside his body his lungs are not capable to inhale so they have applied CPAP there was a balloon to push that oxygen forcibly and that balloon has covered almost his body this much was balloon it was put on his chest and the whole body was covered by that CPAP balloon this much balloon and stool was not passed since last 10 days stool was not it was locked sir from abdomen was stool was low and the treating doctor she was a lady neonatologist she said he will not see next morning sun to the person who was the father there was he has written the consent i have no complaint regarding hospital management i am ready to stop all the medicines i have no complaints so that consent was signed by that person and she said he will not see next morning sir it is 1:30 am then i approached then i saw it was not space to auscult anything because there was cpap where to go for the stethos so i returned that to stethoscope to the nurse and the full bowl abdomen so i thought that i should go for percussion like this but i stopped because if i push like this and goes inside the abdomen what will happen Oh, that was delicate. All the veins were green and blue. So I even didn't touch that baby. Mm-hmm. Just observe like this for one minute. Whatever my understanding at that moment was, we started the medicine. It was almost 2:30 when we started the medicine through that RT. There was a nasal tube. We put two drops per minute in that RT. So the tube was passed from nose to the abdomen. And at 6:30 a.m. There was a call from hospital. I thought I should say, "Oh, I'm very sorry, sir." But he shouted from there, "Oh, he is out of all dangers!" Yes, no, no. To see the success, how it is possible. And the baby was fully pink. Abdomen was flat. Nurse aspirated the uh, intestinal fluid. There was no blood. And very happy. Oxygen was reduced to two liter per hour. Baby survived in next three months. He acquired his body weight to two five zero zero grams in December. There is no reference of premature delivery in it. It is nowhere written. It is the possibility of any baby to get delivered and to be alive in six month of pregnancy. No such references are available. Neither these things are written in it. No way. Still, we manage the person that baby, and now this baby is having. Appearing for tenth this year, it's fifteen years completed. So how can we do this? This is out of air. Nothing is written about Chara, in Chara or Sushil Chara, but about such type. Just recently, last month, just one month back, six May, again I was called in NICU. So baby was just one day. Yesterday delivered, and in the delivery, the gynecologist was absent. The nurse was there to deliver the baby, and due to some mismanagement, baby aspired the whole mekul. Oh. <laughs> in the morning, that uh, person engulf is swallowed inside. He's the one. He's on the first stool. First stool and the um, uh, fluid. Enter and fluid. So what will happen? The things were clear. Left lung was full with meconium and fully opaque. Right lung was half filled. Hazy X-rays were there. Baby was not able to breathe. He said maximum 24 hours the baby will die. There was only IV was continuing and baby was on ventilator. Oxygen saturation is 40 percent. Means next moment baby would die. When I approached there, I saw I just auscultated there. Over 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 sounds. Full of water sounds inside the lung. She said, "I will not allow you to give any internal medicine. Baby is on ventilator. I will not allow you to give internal medicine. You will not give anything. No, nothing to be uh, like lehan or arti. Nothing. <coughs> What can you do in such thing? Internal medicine is not allowed. So I just applied a few lep here on his chest and back. Every one hour when the lep was dry, that lep was wiped out with the cotton. Next lep was applied." And after 12 hours, both the X-rays were clear. Baby is now one and um, seven month, one month and eight days have passed. Baby is safe. This case is present all, all over. Um, 
means all over India this case is um, presented in WhatsApp group. All the X-rays were uh, uh, also circulated. Yeah, circulated. Maybe BT and AT. Before treatment, the total opaque picture was there, and after treatment, clear. And the X-ray was having dates there. I was not. I was have not cropped the image at all. The baby's age, baby's uh, location, baby's uh, doctor, all the things are printed there. Just few days back, I removed. I have shown. So this is the case. Now such thing is not written in Ayurveda. That meconium can get aspired and baby can die. What to do? And no internal medicine is given. Still you can manage. How? It is the basic understanding of dosha rasa. This was very difficult case. This is age 60 female. She was full swollen from toe to her head. Head on these even these eyelids were full swollen. She was almost unconscious for a few minutes, conscious for a few minutes, like going on, going off and was expelled out from ICU unit, uh, Joshi hospital here. Liver cirrhosis, one third liver was shrink, hepatitis C was positive, full body edema was there, HG was dropped down to 6, HG ratio was reversed. They say you carry the patient to the home, there is no point putting it. It was in 2000, uh, 15 years back. <coughs> So I was called, ki, can you do something? I went there and whatever understand, there is no reference of Yakrut in Ayurveda. It, nothing is written about Yakrut. There are few subtle references, two or three. But what, what are the functions and what does it do and what are the elements and what are the... Nothing is written. No description in lengths, in details is available about liver. And the presenting complaint was liver cirrhosis. Total liver was one third shrunk. So then we started, we said I will treat, you will assess. I don't know anything about cirrhosis, hepatitis, nothing, I don't know anything. I will treat, you go for the reports, you assess and you tell me whether the patient is improving or deteriorating. In three months, patient was written, hepatitis C negative. Patient sonography was never normal. Patient's liver was same. That shrunken liver never grow again to the normal size. She survived for next eight years. And she travelled through over India, all four dhams, from Badri Ketar to Ramesh, with no complaints. So this was a very difficult case which I treated in 2000. Uh, for this case I will um, explain in our narration. This was the first case which is successful in my life when I was not having money in my pocket at all. I was serving in a college with 5000 rupees per month. And it was uh, exhausting in bus traveling and petrol. Nothing was saving. No patients were coming. In that era, this lady came. She was rejected from Jangir Hospital. Very bad MRI was there. L1 to S1, all the vertebrae were degenerated badly. No operation was possible because if you touch to the vertebra, the whole down body will go paralyzed. SLR was less than 10 degrees. She was not able to lift her feet like this, even this, this much also when I visited her home. So they said, let her get bedridden with the painkillers. All is toilet and on the bed only. Let her pass away with her pains. So they were frustrated. When I reached there, it was very difficult. And I was not able to read any MRI. I don't know anything about X-rays. <laughs> so I just went through the report. Those persons are expert who are DMRD persons. Whatever they are, it is described with protection. It is nothing modern, nothing I do. They have written all the bones are degenerate. I started treatment on 15th day that lady came, 8th step of my clinic climbing up. I asked her, did you take some other medicine also? <laughs> she said no. <laughs> and from that day, it is 2000, in last 15 years, I have treated 400 cases of same, same report, alpha S1 degeneration. Per day, at least two patients of alpha S1 degeneration have come. Almost bedridden, not able to walk, not able to do anything. And they get reward by six weeks. Every six weeks, every person is on his own feet. Permanently. This is not written in Ayurveda. There is no description of vertebral column, nothing is there. So that are the things which are to be tackled in day-to-day -day practice today. They came with all such things which are impossible, which are rejected, which are about to die. That is Anukta. And it can be very definitely treated successfully for years together. There is no recurrence in any patient. 
I treated, they cured, and they relax the same disease. It never happened. This is my guru. He was always saying that patient को ठीक नहीं रहना चाहिए. Patient ठीक नहीं होना चाहिए. He was saying in Marathi. He said, patient ला बराबर अट्टा काम नहीं. Patient बराबर होता काम नहीं. क्योंकि just ठीक लगना is a relief. Temporary thing. ठीक होना is a cure. But there is a possibility of recurrence. वो कहते थे, he was saying that कि patient should remain healthy. When he will be treated by you, he should not repeat the same disease again in his life. That was his preaching. Patient बरा रहिला भाई जी. Patient should be always healthy, regarding that disease at least. But you have treated for. You should be the last destination for him for that disease. Last destination नहीं. Last destination. This case was treated in 2009. Mm -hmm. This patient is known diabetic, left foot gangrene, three fingers were amputated. Non-healing wound was very badly rotten. He was having all type of discharges. Watery discharge, white discharge, yellow discharge, red discharge, purple discharge. When he entered in my clinic, all the patients sitting there were compelled to go away. So bad. Foul smell was there. So he was advised to uh, ampute the leg from ankle and he was uh, very scared because these people have cut my three fingers mm -hmm. and that wound is aggravated to ankle. Now they are saying you should cut from ankle. God knows he will, they will again say from me and then from me. So he was scared. He is having five hotels in Pune. The patient is from Odupi originally, Bangalore, South India. And he is having five hotels from this Changi Chow. This road where and there is Changi Chow, there is a hotel up and down. From that to Katrash, there are five hotels in the road. All hotels are owned by that person. So he is... So he was worried. I am three and a half months admitted in Udupi, in surgical ward, in IPD. And still wound is not healing. And they are prepared to cut my ankle. So he came back to Pune. My friend was there, he suggested to visit me, he came to my OPD, he was very wondered that they are treating me in IPD in surgical ward for three and a half months and why I am here in 150 square foot clinic which is on OPD basis, what this person will do? So I was also shocked, you know, what to do about this? This, this much wound was there, the whole foot, entire foot was very badly in the angling position and this much portion was black. Totally, cherry shoe polished black, shining shoe. So it was very difficult. So I just went through the all references. I don't know about anything about diabetes. I don't translate it diabetes as Pramehan. No. I didn't use any drug from Pramehan chickens. We started and after three and a half months, his wound was totally clear. His foot was like just born baby, pink foot. He went back to Udupi and the total case was presented in Udupi College in front of whole hospital staff and education staff. Because every person was knowing that patient. Because he was there for three and a half months. And the Gandhar. So this is possible. You said the Ayurvedic hospital? Yeah, it's the Ayurvedic hospital. And that departmental HOD Nagaraj was my bachelor in Jamal. So he referred me. And then after now, in last five years, I have treated 27 cases. One was very difficult. His foot was cut from here. Knee amputation was done. And he was having some artificial foot here. And due to the irritation of that artificial foot, the wound was reopened. There were 18 inches wound. And it was having arthropathy. It was touched with the femur inside. So they were advised to cut from acetabulum. The whole leg is to be removed. And that person who was manager of this hostel, this hotel, up and above, manager of the hotel. So he has seen his owner being treated successfully. So he approached. And this person's wife was a matron in surgical ward in KM. So she was knowing everything about surgery. So she was in clinic like unbelieving what you will do like this. And I said, no, no this is 18 inch wound. I have treated your owner's wound which was just this much. It has taken three and a half months. You will at least require six months. That was my understanding at that time. He came back in 15 days. The total wound was healed. And with x there is no orthopathy and ortho, ortho surgeon opinion, there is no need of any amputation. And still he is working in Manjara Hotel in the same. 
nothing is written such type of uh, cutting things and preventing things nothing is written but we can manage it and we can say now i can give the guarantee ki this diabetic boat i will uh, check in so and so okay latest person is going on now he is having acetone in urine the full urine was full of acetone the odor was very strong and this much wound was there it treated in just 15 days acetone was the sugar was brought to normal so understanding is important not the drug and disease things you can't translate the thing this is diabetic wound therefore it is from me and give the treatment from from me chikitsa it will nothing it will not happen translation where never give you success the understanding in terms of your alphabets your fundamental let like this is amuk dosho amuk guna amuk rasa amuk bhav i am the reverse by the reciprocal thing and it direct application of guna chikitsa this person was um, 70 years old very lean and thin and bronchial asthma people have attempted to give him omena he was continuously on steroids and pumps and he is a very famous hospital praya hospital the owner of praya hospital was his student so every season change he will get admitted to praya hospital for 10 days will get treated with those all pumps and steroids and get ready for the next season again okay. <laughs> this was continuing for so many years so someone suggested he came he asked me uh, really you have completed your medical f- education <laughs> <laughs> i was so much in anything now it is 70 kg at that time it was only 45 kg so i was just looking as a student so he was wondering what is this so when i saw him he was very lean thing i dropped the idea to give him bomana because if i would have admitted him bomana the not only cough but whole lung would have come out <laughs> So what do I to do that? Yeah. So simple thing. This is shwas. This is asthma. This is shwas. The vata kapha pradhan. Vata and kapha means shita. It is prithvi and jala pradhan and shita guna. So I have to apply the ushna guna. Ushna guna is given in swedana and there is single line by vakbar. Avasham swedani yana aswedga yana apikshanam swedani. Even though swedani is contraindicated in the person, you should give swedana for the shwas patient, asthmatic patient. Even though he is contraindicated, you should give this. so that much mandatory swedan is written there so i administered 80 swedan to that person 80 he was coming daily with his driver getting swedan applying some oil going back after 80 swedan he was completely relieved he went back to his original city banaras in up he demolished their old haveli he reconstructed that building with rcc painting furniture he located relocated all his relatives in that the newly constructed house and came back after 8 months and in those 8 months he was not suffered for a single moment so that is the potential of vakbar <coughs> only said so it is possible and he is still i mean now he is 88 very old case when I mean, just i started my practice in medicine this was very miserable case just 30 to 3.5 years uh, um, female child Now she was declared as MR, mentally retarded, and treated at YMT Hospital in Mumbai for many months together. So the whole whole saliva was dropping on her um, clothes. The squint was very very wide squint was there, almost to the ends. Squint was there. She was not able to control toilet or urine. Uh, not identifying her fathers. Not able to sit when she sit in the chair. She completely tumbled like that. very bad condition they have given up because they have treated for almost one and half year in ymt college so i said to that mother that you will treat her i will not treat because they were living in mumbai i was practicing in pune for 14 months i was sending medicines by courier they were just telling so and so the condition is there and so and so response is there okay i'm changing according to the season and the complaints so after 14 months she came back she came back with a dotted uh, frock polka dot frock and she turned around for four and time five times and uh, identified her father she was able to speak in words she was not able to speak in sentences the speaking in words bhag poli shala sakal going to school so what is understand nothing and understand it is what i have to treat the what i will treat what and the whole nursing was done by her mother After 14 months with no follow-up in between, that lady, that uh, female child was here. Now she is nine years going to school very nicely. No one will now recognize that sometimes she has suffered with a squint. Total, all the squint is in right center position. Now, 
and I have not treated any to any treatment for eyes. What is written in Akbar that is to be followed judiciously till you get the success. In terms of dosha rasamun what you get understand and reciprocally give the treatment. This was again one more one for the child husband disease. Then there is no motor control on large intestine. So they didn't uh, have any sensation for their defecation. So they will be passing toothpaste tools. Continuously body will pass this much tool 24 hours. They will not have bulk to pass like any other normal person twice a day or one Sunday. Continuously. So whole that anus was uh, inflammated, very red, very delicate. Continuously passing stool. So that was red, very delicate. And there is no cure because there is motor nerve absent by birth. Nothing can be done. They said there is no, no medicine. She will pass on stool for whole life. So she was not going to school. So who will go do that nursing? So no schooling, nothing. So she was in Goa, I was in Pune. So I again said to mother to nurse that baby according to the principles. She went on giving sheer basti. All the sheer basti were absorbed. No basti was expelled out for a drop even. And after one and a half year, almost 18 months, she was able to sit in the school without defecation at all. Till she is awake, she will tell that I have to go for defecation once or twice in daytime. When she is sleeping, that control is again no control there. She will be dropping down small stool particles. Whole age, whole her sleep time. When, he, when she will get up, again it will happen. That much we achieved, but uh, next to that it was not possible. This is again one more interesting thing which is very hot issue nowadays all over the world. I did hear. Insulin dependent diabetes mellitus. This was a very miserable person taking 12 units insulin 3 times per day. That is the maximum dose. Still insulin taking and having BSNL 375 plus. So uncontrolled diabetes in spite of the human mistrust insulin was indicted 3 times. HbA1c was 10 plus. So very badly uncontrolled diabetes also. So we started in January 2015. And latest report on 16th May was this, 95-138. Insulin is stopped by MD medicine person. He has not informed his MD medicine doctor that he is on ayurvedic medicine. Not at all. He, he, he just consulted, this is my report, what will you suggest? So slowly insulin will drop. Now insulin is stopped totally. This is the report right now, 95-138. And HB1C is correctly up to 6.1. So that is good condition. So hair control and diabetes. And in whole these uh, 5 months, there is no weight loss, 1 kg even. No protein loss, no muscle wasting. A body insulin which was 1.3, very very poor level, beta cells were not responding. <coughs> now it is 3.9, very normal. So in this due course in 5 months, the patient was responding. And many other patients get referred due to that uh, type of result. The latest patient is 80 years old. He is coming from Satara, almost 100 kilometers from Pune. And having this much tummy, like a um, brass doll, this much tummy, totally white tongue. So I ignored his sugar levels, etc. I started Langhanam, and now tummy is totally flat. Reports are uh, sugar normal, HbA1c normal. And one more lady is again 80 years, same, having 475 sugar, 500 sugar completely, and she is again normal. So recently these three patients are there. This is just 60 years patient, and last two patients are 80 years. So, such type of things are not written. Nothing written about sugar, nothing written about HbA1c. Sugar is at BSL level, blood level. What you speak about Prameha, it is Yadatu Kledam Mutrena Abhisa Mishri Bhuya Basto Prapadya. Until the things are expelled out through Mutra, it is not Prameha Ayurveda. Correct? Mm -hmm. And they are labeling diabetes when they find that sugar or Kledam in blood. So, Marakta, Mamsa, Medha, Asti, Manja, Shukra, then it will saturate the body, then it will get expelled through, with Mutra through Basti. Then it is Prame. So, if you are travelling from Mumbai to Pune, so they are labelling diabetes in Mumbai and you are waiting for that uh, patient to alight at Pune, you will never catch it. <laughs> Basti Gata Kleda is in Pune, that is Prame. And Rakta Gata Sugar, that is Kled, it is in Mumbai. Nothing possible. So whatever is not written in my science, 
it can be treated very successfully and I treat you as is. It is not I am convincing the patient, oh you are okay, you know you don't know but you are okay. Nothing like that. <laughs> I will treat you will assess. If you are healthy according to me, in the whole world all assessments should label you as healthy person. I will not convince you that you are healthy, conditions apply. No, it is not. <laughs> you should be healthy absolutely. In that way it is possible. This is the last thing, then we will shift to Doshara Sabana Mahabur Light to Light. This is CKD, Chronic Kidney Disease. This is a very unfortunate person, uh, 39 years old. Uh, he is a manager and travelling 150 kilometers per day. 75 for, uh, going, 75 kilometers coming back in car, uh, driven by his driver. Uh, but his 24 hours urine protein was 1969, way above normal range, almost 20 times increased. After treatment, it is reduced to 1700 in last month. Uh, urea was 84, now it is 450, it is almost normal. Creatinine is still 3.8. Potassium was 5.8, it is a now normal range, 4.3. And very bad thing is he is solitary kidney person. He is not having two kidneys, only single kidney by birth. Oh so this is very grave condition because creatinine has already tripled. Uh, from 1.2 it is 3.8 and urine protein is drastically going out, almost 2000. What to do? Nothing is written. Nothing is written about Brooke. There are at least 5 to 6 references about liver, Yakrun, but there is no reference almost about Brooke. Now what to do? Uh, patient has no symptom, no symptom at all. I am having no symptoms. Only these reports are available and the patient is suffering from BP. Uh, 140, 90 BP was there. No, no symptom. Presenting symptom is not there. BP you have to check. Total. So there are n number of presentations, n number of clinical presentations which are anukta and you have to tackle. You can't say, no, this is not written in Ayurveda, I can't, I can't read. It is a professional thing, you have to tackle this. So all such things are treated by Vakbhat successfully. See, treated all these cases successfully, not treating, huh? These are not ongoing things, these are treated, completed. Mm -hmm. Treated all these cases successfully without Rasakalpa. Why am I emphasizing Rasakalpa? Because this is my personal bias that I do not consider Rasashastra as I believe that if there is no mention of such things in Charak and Vakpati Sushu, and still they are managing their patient successfully. So there is no necessity of any extra things which are not mentioned in Vakpati. So I have never used in my whole career any Sushika, any Aradhyarathini, any Kamuda, any Suvarna, Vasmanda, Vasmanda, I don't believe it. That is my personal bias. I don't believe that there is any, any Ayurveda exists beyond one. So this is my personal bias. I am practicing in that way. Without any Rasakal we use in last 17 years, uh, these all patients are managed so very nice. So now I can say that is it is needless. I will not say it is useless, but it is needless. There are, there are many applications in our smartphone. Is it mandatory that you should use each and every application? No, I don't need it. Work is getting done. Rasa Shastra was there in my syllabus. I have passed Rasa Shastra. I have violated all 80 Rasa Kalpas in our syllabus. But I never use it because I don't understand the logic behind it. If this person say na dosha naam na dusha naam na chapu saam parikshanam, you don't exam dosha, you don't exam dusha, you don't care about the clinical examination of the patient, just give them medicine and it will cure. No, I, I don't want magic. I want rational explanation, whatever the treatment I am giving, and I should be able to explain it to the patient and the scientific fraternity both at a time. I will not say I don't know, it is written and I will give. No. I don't want magic. I want science. So therefore that is my personal bias, my personal opinion. So keep it apart, no controversy, no debate. We are here for uh, Sandhaya Sambhasha. That is constructive discussion, not for Vigruya. We are not here for any uh, argument. So but this is my biblical reading that I have never used any recipe and I will never use it. Next. So coming to the